as a Canadian team, I thought our uh, performances were consistent through the weekend. We we lost the first game on the buzzer, uh, having played pretty well, and we, we got a 14-point lead. Didn't, couldn't quite hang on to it, but um, thought we played really well, and then we we were consistently good through the weekend, win, winning the next five games in a row. It's a brutal game. Um, not often you, you win two games in your pool and don't make that quarter final. And also to go in, in one play, uh, the final play against Wales, to go from potentially topping the pool to, to being third in, in probably a five second moment. And that's the beauty of the Sevens game, but it's, it's the brutality of it as well. Listen to the roar for Canada. Oh yes, this is a Canadian ripper. We talked uh, consistently about just being in that big moment. When it came, we had mastered that moment. And uh, Nathan Hiriyama could kick that with his eyes closed. And I think you, um, you win some, you lose some. And sometimes it's with you, sometimes it's not. And um, I, I thought we, we mastered that critical moment uh, perfectly. Um, I saw a little bit more kicking in, in, in the last two weeks. Um, the breakdown is also an area that constantly innovates and, and uh, you get trending in how the game is officiated and you have to adapt to that. I think you've also seen a change in the way the game's played from the Las Vegas pitch at 62 metres to the pitch in, um, in Vancouver at 68 metres. That's a significant difference in the sevens game where space is so important. I think a team that really stood out for me was South Africa, uh, a consistently good all-round team. Um, they impressed me with, with their work ethic and their ability to stay on task and, and um, squeeze teams out of, out of uh, results. New Zealand came through, through the weekend uh, again very consistently and I thought they, they played a fantastic final, played it to the script really and uh, you know, they also bring you know, great work ethic and, and uh, you know, just a fantastic skill set. So high quality players understand how they're going to play and, and they, they deliver that game after game and that's what gives them consistency to make that final and, and potentially win it. I think Justin Gedult from, from South Africa is, is a fantastic player both sides of the ball. That's what impresses me about him is he's got this outstanding playmaking ability but defensively hugely courageous, technically uh, sound. I thought he was excellent. He also brings you a, a kicking option. Jerry Tuai from Fiji was, was impressive. Uh, just brings an X factor, real pace onto the ball, um, finishes tries with ease. Um, he's a guy that I think just excites the Sevens game. Vancouver has come alive. They are a proud host city now. Listen to this. Don't the locals just love it? I think they could come away with it just with a word of positivity. Um, fantastic stadium, uh, the closed roof just brings a different acoustic um, atmosphere to, to the tournament. The surface was outstanding, you know, turf surface that is unusual in the sevens game at the moment, but I can see that growing more and more. Um, great surface, great atmosphere, great stadium and, and great rugby on top of it. There was some real drama through, um, through the tournament as there always is with sevens. I think anyone coming to the to BC Place this weekend. If you're a rugby fan, you're more inspired by the Sevens game. If you didn't know rugby, you can't help but be um, just grabbed by the game. I'm hoping this is a catalyst for, not only for the tournament, but for Rugby Sevens in Canada.